Hi guys, welcome to FVL Content. It's Just D here, and today we are going to talk about about youth. About youth is a Taiwanese romance series starring Li Chenhao as Ye Guan with Yao Shen as Shu Shishan. They are the main leads of the story, and Yu Shangqing as Wei and Andy Wang Handy. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. As Ha Jiang, they are the second lead. I just finished watching this series today and I must say that I am impressed about how easygoing and heartwarming the series was. The way the characters were brought to life by the actors was impressive too. I'm not going to lie, especially Li Shen Hao. Li Shen Hao's character Ye Guan was like, is like a, an innocent, kind and, and cute character and it just especially suited him. The way he chose to portray his character, his kindness, blooming his confidence was amazing. As well as other characters, especially Ye Guan's mother and Ye and the second lead. And also so his supporting male lead, like that is his like couple was also amazing. I would say that the lighting of the movie was good. Like it had this fluffy pink beautiful light into it and it's like youthful young and beautiful some innocent stuff the way the director chose to portray this about youth was is in a kind of a simple you know teenage life um filled with um love and kindness and just a beautiful world with a side of you know bitterness to it but in the speaking of bitterness there are a few things that I just did not get what the director was trying to do like for instance um, the overall cliche part of staring into the eyes of each other forever is like a part that I am used to seeing it's like acting too much in BL series that sometimes when I see people staring I just skip to the next place to the next place and the part I did not like to me was the fact that the conflict surrounding Ye Guang's family was not dealt into in depth. It was just shallow and on the surface. It's, it was kind of immature to the point that the movie ended without the conflict being resolved. I mean, it was it's an eight episode movie. At least at some point, we have to resolve a certain conflict at the other. And I'm going to also say that what I did not like was also the lack of development of the second male leads, of the second leads. Like, what the hell? We, we, I was there for the second lead. I wanted to know their history, their background, what was going on. It's usually Hajjong. Hajjong is like a mystery in this movie. This character was not represented. His character, like, development was not in depth. It was like shallow. It took like episode, it took from episode one to eight to finally get like a case from the male lead, the main lead, um, Ye Wan and Zhu. But it took like two episodes to just develop. I, the second lead characters it was like too fast and not the latest because I want to keep the short eye. I'd like to rate this series a thing a 7.5 because the 7.5 is mainly for the cinematography because they tried a lot and the uh, the editing the acting was good like you just have to watch it and you know that everything about this movie is good it's just like well thought and planned but the remaining 2.5 is the lack of plot development the shallow and the slowness of the conflict being unresolved the, the character development of the main leads in evolving faster than the conflict leaving behind the troubles that Ye Guan was, was passing through and just dumping it into us and like leaving us hanging at the edge of the cliff and I'm just also going to say that the second male leads were not developed well it, it was like rushed and I'm going to say that the ending was rushed too I'm sorry y'all, spoiler but it felt so rushed to the point I was like, oh my god, it's like a bulb just went off my head. So, anywho, if you are someone that would love this sort of sweet, sweet romance from high school boys, I would highly recommend it to you. But if you don't want to be troubled by how you believe in a, you believe in to hang on edge of a cliff, I would suggest you maybe skip at some point or you add to watch or you add it to your watch list for preservation purposes. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to comment on your thoughts and what on the comment section. And please, I like to 
I would love you to continue supporting my channel. Uh, thank you very much. See you next week.